I'm Carol Pulitzer. I uh, illustrate, I cook, and I write. And um, right now I'm bringing them all together in a book I call Little Theater. It's a hybrid book. It's um, words and pictures and food recipes. It's everything. It's not a normal book. I love books and I want to do a book. I've had it in my head for 30 or 40 years and I always did this artwork, did everything that I do and I just put it in a filing cabinet and finally I got to an age where I said it's now or it's never going to happen. I call my book Little Theater because I write super short fiction and nonfiction, and I pack a lot of action into a small space and do an illustration to go with it. Sometimes the illustration comes first and that inspires the story. Some of my stories are true, some of them are fiction. I think everybody's life is an incredible story. We could all tell these stories and um, I just enjoy doing it. interested in writing and illustration and in cooking so n not one of them dominates but I finally realized that it's okay to combine all three in a book in this day and age everybody's um, doing what they want to do and why does a, a book have to be just one thing I have always loved doing art I've been in the kitchen since I was could probably walk we had such great food in our kitchen. Everybody could cook. My mother was an incredible cook. Food, art, and writing, I just always did it. They're, they're all important to me, and I think when I have a, an illustration, I just feel like it begs for words, and I feel like if I have a story, it begs for an illustration. In Little Theater, I just hope to um, do a hybrid where I can put in anything I want. Food, recipes, rants, illustrations, stories, fiction, nonfiction, whatever I want. been very interested in things that can't be explained, like uh, UFOs. I was out in Taos at a workshop. It was the Thursday of a week-long workshop at 3 a.m. My eyes blink open. I get my flashlight. I walk out in my pajamas, and I look up, and it looked like Van Gogh's Starry Night. And instead of having stars all over the sky like normal, there were about seven clusters. They were like these heavy, dripping clusters of stars, huge, fat, glowing on and off. I remember looking over to my left and seeing the Little Dipper, but that was the only other normal stars I saw in the sky. I got up the next morning, it was the Friday, the last day of the workshop, and I did a painting of it, uh, you know, just fast, just to get the vision down on paper, but I don't think I would ever forget it anyway. I don't think it really changed my art. I think it was just a validation of the fact that life is short and weird and do what you want to do. It's just confirmed my belief that anything is possible, pass the word. Um, we can't explain everything and, and you know, anything is possible. Mm -hmm.